Hi, and welcome to my short demo of Liar, my latest project. Liar is a web-based program for storytellers, specifically for semi-improvised or interactive stories, like role-playing games. The goal of Liar is to integrate images and audio into your story. It also has specific support for maps, which are images that you will want to show bit by bit. The main use case for Liar is tabletop role-playing games when you are playing in the same room. Uh, typically, the narrator will have a laptop from which she will control the images and the audio that get into the story with Liar, and the players will typically have a shared device, for example, a tablet, uh, that will show the images that the narrator chooses. The goal is not really to replace paper, but to enhance the descriptions and the story that you're telling. It's probably not great for playing over the internet, although I have never tried, and the handouts for players, which are things that they will typically want to read or study closely, will stay on paper. They won't be part of life. And now for the actual demo, I'm going to show you how you can use Liar to enhance a story. The story I'm going to use in this example is called The Merchant, and you have it here, linked from the homepage. The first thing you need is to extract the images and the audio you want when telling the story. In this case, we already have images that come with the scenario, so we will extract those. And for the audio, you could, for example, use the fantastic uh, tabletop audio.com, which has uh, free tracks, um, very good for for gaming or even for studying or, or doing other things. Uh, you have all sorts of uh, moods and, and different situations, so you can pick and choose uh, really good stuff from here. So the end result of that will be something similar to this. We will have um, three scenes in this case and some images for each scene and then the playlists uh, here. Uh, note how two of the images have this special icon. This special icon means that these images are maps. So instead of sending them completely to the audience, uh, you'll have the chance to uncover just bits of that map and just publish the bits that you haven't covered. So everything's ready now. Um, let's assume that we are all sitting around the table and we are ready to start. This uh, left half side of the screen is going to be the narrator's laptop and the right half of the screen is going to be the device the players are using. So we start by clicking here and then narrate uh, button and there is an address here that we will load on the player's device which won't show much uh, for start and then we click start here and let's say that uh, we start the narration we simply set some music and start uh, describing the cheerful chatty mood of the locals inside the tavern contrasts with the harsh weather outside the thunders and the sound of the aggressive rain make the tavern feel warmer than it probably is the local dialect and customs start feeling less strange after a couple of days, but money is running out and you are ready to accept almost any job, as long as it pays. Suddenly, the distant cry of a horse announces a possible visit, which is confirmed a little later by the tavern door opening violently. A man, panting and scared, enters and quickly closes the door. He approaches the tavern keeper while looking back from time to time, as if fearing something or someone will come after him. So there are a couple of interesting things here. Uh, first of all, the uh, playlist. You can just click on it and you forget about it because it will loop if necessary. It will not stop. It will just keep playing. So you can just forget about it. Uh, the other interesting thing is that simply clicking on an image uh, will make the image uh, be shown on the player's device. And the last interesting thing uh, I would like you to notice is that in this corner, the narrator always has uh, what is what it is that 
the players are seeing at any moment so you always have the, the context um, then let's say that later the players are for example traveling through a swamp so we start the swamp music and maybe we start describing the hot and humid weather the sounds of the local animals they barely recognize and how they sweat or something and maybe you want to describe how they notice some sort of giant slug-like creature that is roaming the swamp you click on the image, then it shows uh, to the players. Maybe you mention that they recognize those creatures from the tales told by the people at the tavern or something like that. And then minutes later, um, they will hear some other travelers in the distance. So at this point, you would like to explain uh, on a map um, what are the relative positions of, of the players and the travelers that they hear and, and whatnot. So, when clicking on a map, notice how the map is not sent to the audience, but instead we have the special uh, map interface so we can mark the things we want to uncover. So let's uncover this part here and a bit more of here. Let's say that they can see only this. So we hit publish and then only the part that we have uncovered is sent to the players. Um, then a bit later um, you might want to uh, forget about the map for a moment maybe they find someone and you want to show a picture of that person and then you can go back to the map and uncover a bit more and show the, the parts that have been uncovered or whatever so as you can see it's, um, it's very easy to to uncover only the parts that you want and if you make mistakes of course you can cover again or whatever you have and do option and, and redo and whatnot. Um, so that is it for Liar, that is what um, we can do, uh, send images, um, manage your, your music and your audio in the form of playlists and uh, show these maps but I'm covering bit by bit um, so that's pretty much it for the demo I hope you liked it and uh, thanks for watching <laughs>